I'm just so excited for virtual camp. Aren't you, Billy? What's that? You're excited too? Oh, dude. We are gonna have so much fun this summer. It's hard, it, it's hard to even comprehend. I mean, it's gonna be the craziest thing ever, right? It's like, it, it's just, it's just crazy. Oh, hey James, come on in. Hey kid, I just wanted to let you know I just finished folding your laundry, doing your dishes, um, and cleaning the camp vans. Aw, oh, thanks so much, James. Like, seriously, I don't even know what Maria and I would do without you, man. You're just a lifesaver. Dude, it's no problem. Is there anything else you need me to do? I mean, now that you mention it, the house could definitely use a fresh coat of paint, especially in the kitchen. And we also would love to have some prime rib tonight. And I know that's kind of a lot to ask, but if you're up for the challenge, I mean, we would be more than thankful. Yeah, dude, I would love to. All right, see you later, James. See you later, man. Take it easy. Man, Billy, I don't know what Marie and I would do without James here. I mean, he's just always doing stuff for us, you know what I mean? And granted, I mean, it's stuff we need to have happen, but it's just, the guy's incredible. You know, I wish there was just some way to say thank you. You know, it's like everything's online nowadays. There's no way to, there's no way to put anything in the mail or anything like that. I don't even know if the mailman still exists. Hey guys, the mailman's here. Oh, hold on a second. We still get mail? Billy, you know what this means, right? No, Cade. I don't know what this means. Please tell me. I can write James a letter, a personal letter, that will actually have meaning and value. Not some fake post on Facebook or Instagram. Something that's real and tangible that he can hold and read and actually have significance and, and, and cherish for the rest of his life. Billy, this changes everything. Two hours later. All right, so I realized the first four things that you're gonna need to write a letter are a pen, paper, an envelope, and a stamp. And then you're gonna have to figure out what you wanna say. When writing a letter, you will need to address it to the subject. In this case, the subject is James. So I'll say, dear James. Since this is a more formal letter, I'll then put a comma after James. The next part of the letter will be the main paragraph, the body. And that will take up, hopefully, a few lines. In this part, I'll say whatever it is I want to say to James. I'll let him know how much he means to me. And I'll say thank you for all the work he's been doing. Since this is a more formal letter, we'll want to end it the right way. So, we'll say, sincerely, your friend, comma, Cade. So, now we have the starting, dear James, the subject, comma, then the body of the paragraph, and then we'll write, sincerely, your friend, comma, Cade. And that's how we're going to end it. So, that's how you write a more formal letter, and hopefully it will be something that your friend can hold on to, and maybe even be something they can look at when they're having a down day. Dear James, you are so great. You're one of the greatest guys I've ever met. I can't imagine anyone doing as much as you do for us here at the village. I just want to say that Maria and I are so thankful. We appreciate everything you do, and we're so excited that you're going to be spending some time with us at the village this summer. God bless you, and we hope to remain good friends forever. Sincerely, your friend, Kate. Alright, now we've written our letter, so we need to address our envelope. So here's what we're going to do. The return address is your address, and that always goes in the top left corner of the envelope. So here, Cade Scott, my address, 201 St. Ignatius Trail, my town, Bolivar, PA, and my zip code, 15923. And now, who am I sending it to? James Jabor. Whoever you're sending your letter to is always going to go in the main portion of your letter, right here, smack dab in the middle. That way they know where it needs to go. So, James Jabor, 5 Taft Avenue, Lexington, Massachusetts, 02421. Now, that we have our addresses, the return and the sender address, we need to make sure that we include a stamp on it. I've put my stamp right here, and the stamp always goes in the top right corner of the envelope. Lastly, we need to make sure that we put it in. So here's my letter. We're gonna put it into James. We're gonna load that up. Most envelopes nowadays have a little sticky on the back. You just take that off, you close it. Now we gotta go outside and we gotta send it to James. Hey, I didn't see you guys in the mailbox. So here's our final step of sending our letter. We have it right here. We're gonna put it right there inside the mailbox. Remember, on the outside of our mailbox, there's a flag. We have to pull that flag up. That way the mailman knows that there's letters that need to go out. So, 
James, you'll get this letter soon, hopefully to your house. Uh, hope to see you soon. I'm gonna close it up and I'm gonna put the flag up and the mailman's gonna get it in the morning. Later, Antiochian Village. Love you guys. Show.